you can still hurt, but you should also heal and then be responsible for your hurting and not channel it to other people. Yeah. I just feel like sometimes we're really irresponsible with our feelings Mm. and we have to be responsible as adults, especially adults that are supposed to be guiding kids and like our youth, you have to be a lot more responsible and how we do things. Yeah, that that's so true. I love that about being irresponsible with our feelings. Let's explore that a bit because I think that's such a powerful statement in and of itself. I, I always felt like I was someone who moved on and I was always felt like I was someone who like, oh, I didn't get affected by that. Mm-hmm. And then I started to see that actually I had behaviors in me that were complete reflections of a past pain, mm. right? Like there were, re- right. there were behaviors in me that were reflections of a past guilt. Right. And then I realized that it's not that they just disappeared. It's that they were going to come out in a different way that was yeah. going to hurt future relationships. It was going to hurt present relationships. And, and for me, that's where I started to work through that, where I started to see actually what I saw in whatever it was, I'm now reflecting that. Let me look at that behavior and see how that behavior can be healed and transformed. Right. And what's the root of that? Does that right. make sense? Uh, completely. Yeah. And also I think people get confused even when you're like, no, I'm, I'm totally over that. I'm healed. You can still talk about things and be healed. You can still draw back on those things and say, it hurt me when Mm. it did hurt you when, but I think sometimes people are like, oh, you're done with that. You're like, why are you talking about this for so long or whatever? And it's like, that's also a form of my healing. I hate when other people who have not been through the trauma you have been through, any of us, because we've all gone through traumas, they want to tell you when to stop hurting. And that's not anybody's place to tell you when to stop hurting. Mm -hmm. It's, and everybody has a different lifespan of pain, I think. Everybody will deal with things in different, what might be traumatizing to me might be nothing to you and vice versa. And we can't invalidate people's feelings. That's only gonna traumatize them more. And also shame them. I'm so over like the emotional shaming of what people do to other people. People can have their feelings and do what they want as long as they're realistic. You also have to step outside of your own self and be self-aware and say, okay, am I completely delusional? Am I making these? Because you could also, your mind, you can play tricks on and you could start creating a false reality. As long as you're being, I think, really authentic and genuine about your feelings. I think it's okay to talk about your pains and traumas. I think, especially if you're doing it in a way that's beneficial to other people, Mm -hmm. I think that's being responsible. Um, But I think if you're just talking about negative stuff to talk about negative (laughs) stuff, you're like, oh my gosh, shut up already. Yeah. You know, there's like, there's, it's, I think you just, again, you just have to be responsible. I love what you said, because you can't put a deadline on someone else's pain, right? You can't put, be the one to invalidate or validate how long someone needs to dissect something or break something down. And, and I right. think that's such a great point. And, and you're right that I think- But as long as it's realistic, do you know what I mean? Like some sure. people just care, they just are negative. They just have like a dark cloud over them because they've created that mm. crowd, cloud. But that's realistically not their reality. You look at them and you're like, what are you talking about? Mm. And if it was something from five or 10 years ago, you're like, okay, babe, we got to, not that we're putting a deadline on it, but let's start working through it. Yeah. Let's not sit in the beginning stages of whatever's holding yeah. you back. So it's the balance that you're talking about. It's a balance. It's 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 not either or. Correct. Because you can't just talk about it forever and you're not doing anything about it. Right. At the same time, you can't say, oh, get over it today. Right. It's that balance. Like I can't stand people that are like eating a bucket of like Haagen-Dazs ice cream. They're like, I'm so fat. And like, they won't work out. They won't change their diet. They won't drink more water. They won't whatever. But they're complaining, complaining, complaining. I'm like, well, you're always going to be in this victimized state because you're literally not doing any, you're not being self-aware. You're not even looking at your own reflection saying, okay, what can I do to change things about myself? It's everybody else's fault. How do we then talk to that person or coach them with compassion out of that? Like you've done a lot of that work. How do you do that with someone else in the same way as we do with ourselves? Like, what would you say to them? It's, it's, it really does come from within. I think whenever people do things for other people, it's always, you're setting yourself up for failure. Mm. I think you really genuinely have to want to change areas of your life. And if you don't just be happy with who you are, 